When we seek medical attention, it's our hope and belief that we are receiving high quality care. A doctor being a well-respected professional figure and authority in our culture, we never dare to think that they would be the one causing more harm than good. We never stop to question our doctor's credibility and oblige blindly, leaving us all vulnerable to fall as victims of medical malpractice. In the past week, the public expressed outrage after a video of a gynecologist sexually assaulting an unconscious female patient surfaced. And this was only one case. Kenyans now are fed up, are standing up, are angry. Kenyans want answers and demand that action takes place immediately. You're watching Politically Correct and I, Amaya Hayakawa. Whose responsibility is it to ensure your doctors are properly trained and are meeting ethical standards in medical practice? Who holds them accountable? How can we empower ourselves so that we never fall victims of medical malpractice? These are but a few questions we plan to answer here today and my guest is Dr. George Akuno, a resident in surgery at University of Nairobi and Kenyatta National Hospital. He's also a member of Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union. Welcome to the show, Dr. E. Thank you so much for coming, first of all, and for taking your time, your busy schedule, um, saving lives on a daily basis. I don't take it for granted that you're Thank here you. today. Um, now, first of all, this case of Dr. Wairimo, mm -hmm. before we even get into anything else, um, you being a professional doctor, what is your initial reaction? What is your feeling toward the situation? Okay, um, thank you for this chance. First of all, let me clarify to the members of the public that Mugo uh, Awairimu, um, or the person we watched uh, presented on uh, those clips, is not a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. That has been the position of the Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board, mm -hmm. which is the body mandated by law to register and to supervise qualified medical doctors. Mm -hmm. But um, whoever the person is who carries themselves as doctors without being doctors, in this society, I would say every market has their madman. So, Mugo not being a doctor, I don't know what to call him, because even the nurses say he's not a nurse. Uh, so I don't know what to call him. So in the first place, calling him a doctor probably is a stain on the medical profession. So we would probably ask the media to clarify exactly what he is first before we as doctors can discuss this. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And um, when you say that, for me, that's even worse. <laughs> you know, I would even rather him at least be a doctor because, I mean, this look at the clinic that he has had. It's been there running uh, for months on end. Apparently, the clinic was uh, shut down by the dentist board, the medical and uh, dentist board, in June. And uh, this incident is coming out in September, which means that the clinic has been operating since then until now. How is this even possible that such a thing can happen? Um, um, now, uh, this country, we pride ourselves in being a democracy. What a democracy means is that we are a country governed by the rule of law and the rule of law stems from the fact that the laws that govern us are passed by the sovereign parliament of the people of Kenya. We the people of Kenya through our own, our own will elect people who make laws for us. That is the background information I want all of us to have. Then these laws are meant to govern each and every one of us for the peaceful and orderly conduct of business within the country. So there must be a law that allows someone to open a medical clinic, at least a legitimate medical clinic. Mm -hmm. 
Right now, as the law states, can anybody open a clinic? What are the requirements for you to open a clinic or a, 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 a medical health institution? Let us be very specific because unless we understand what we are talking about, the public gets misled. Mm -hmm. There are very many laws governing people who can operate clinics. So to that end, let me clarify that it is not only medical doctors and dental surgeons that can run clinics. Mm -hmm. For a fact, as a matter of fact, this country has about 20 or 20-something 20 professional and quasi-professional cadres, different cadres mm -hmm. in the health sector who are rendering one service or the other. Mm -hmm. Medical doctors and dental surgeons are only two of this big number. So the law that the medical practitioners and dentist board uses to police or regulate the medical doctors and dentists is only applicable to medical doctors and dentists. Mm -hmm. There are other people, for example, there are pharmacists and pharmacy technologies. They operate under a different law called the Pharmacy and Poisons Act, CAP 244. Mm -hmm. There are nurses, they operate under CAP 257, the Nurses Act. There are clinical officers, they operate under another law, the Clinical Officers Registration and Licensing Act. Mm -hmm. There are radiographers, which operate under different law. Mm -hmm. There are oral health technologies, who don't even have a law to regulate them. There are plaster technicians. So, when the media jumps onto this title, doctor, and holds it that doctors doing this, doctors doing that, we would also urge the media to try to do a little more research to discover exactly who is designated a doctor by the law. And I'll clarify this. CAP 253, Medical Practitioners and Dentists Act mm -hmm. of 1977, operationalized in 1978, mm -hmm. actually criminalizes someone from using the term doctor mm -hmm. when they have not gone through the proper training mm -hmm. and licensing as such. So, before we say Mugo's clinic was operating under what? Mm -hmm. First, let us establish who Mugo is. Is he a doctor? Is he a clinical officer? Is he a pharmacist? Mm -hmm. Is he a nurse? Mm -hmm. At least, the medical practitioner's board has confirmed mm -hmm. that he is not a medical doctor, mm -hmm. He is, not, he is not a dental surgeon. Mm -hmm. So, so far as CAP 253 is concerned, mm -hmm. the medical practitioners and dentist board mm -hmm. has nothing mm -hmm. to do with that person. In fact, the only time the medical practitioner board can come in is if he carries the title doctor, which he is not entitled to the board, can seek redress in the courts. All right. So you have clearly stated, we yes. have clearly... Um, uh, uh, stated that he is not a doctor. At least I he know the board has for that stated much, he is not a We doctor. are sure that he is not the doctor. And From so what post. you are saying then is that it is not um, uh, uh, the, um, the, the surgical and dentist board uh, uh, responsibility to, to regulate his, his institution. Is that now, what you're saying? Let me carry forward what I, was, what I was saying. If you occupy a public office, here, maybe where we are sitting here, this is a private enterprise. But some of us who work in public offices have to learn over time that when you occupy a public office, you only act in accordance with the provisions of the law as passed by Parliament, which is the expression of the will of the Kenyan people. For the time being, as we speak, Parliament has, Parliament through CAP 253, has only given the medical practitioners and dentist board power to be responsible for medical doctors and dental surgeons. So the medical practitioners board cannot go around looking at everybody else, including people claiming to be, to be herbalists from wherever. Mm -hmm. That is not what the law mm -hmm. entails. So who then would you hold responsible for what has happened with I don't even know what to call him, Mr. Mwairimo or whatever, who is responsible for that? If he is not a doctor, 
the nurses have said he's not a nurse. And also the, another question that I have, yes. because the nurses say that he's not a nurse, and yes. in the institution, yes. I am assuming the uh, clinic had nurses, the clinic also had other practitioners. Yes. Um, why did they not report any of these cases? Why were they silent in, if indeed he was not a doctor? Now, um, I'll take you slightly to what we call the penal code and the criminal procedure code. These mm -hmm. are laws within this country. Mm -hmm. If, for example, I witness a crime mm -hmm. being committed by someone mm -hmm. and I do not report, it's called being witness to a felony and refusing to report to the police that a felony is being committed, mm -hmm. then I can be treated as an accomplice. Mm -hmm. So I want to believe that part of the responsibility of the police mm -hmm. when they visit that place, mm -hmm. first, once the board has said he's not a doctor, mm -hmm. he's also, the nurses are saying he's not a nurse, mm -hmm. it is now the duty of the police. Mm -hmm. to investigate exactly who he is. So in your, um, in your opinion, yes. the board did its job up to the point that they shut down and they reported that um, uh, he is not a practicing daughter, doctor, then... Um, partly yes, partly no. Yes, because the board is not obliged under any law to look for people who are not medical doctors and not dentists. That is partly yes. Partly no, because the board, I think through some regulations which were later included in the Medical Practitioners and Dentists Act, there are regulations, attendant regulations to that main act, which gave the board some powers to inspect and license medical facilities. Mm -hmm. But that, those, those, those powers are also being contested. They are being contested because as we know, the sources of law in this country, the highest is the Constitution, the second one is the Acts of Parliament. So an Act of Parliament may empower a body to make regulations. That is called uh, delegated legislation. But delegated le powers derived from delegated legislation cannot override restrictions imposed by the main body of the Act as passed in Parliament. So we know for a fact that through some regulations made pursuant to the Act, the board inspects and licenses facilities to render medical services at different levels. Mm -hmm. But that is courtesy of delegated legislation. Mm -hmm. But the main body of the Act only deals with doctors and dentists. Mm -hmm. So to the extent that the board may have been inspecting this facility, they could have known that the people working here may be purporting to have licenses that they should not hold. Mm -hmm. To that extent, the board probably needs to tell people mm -hmm. when they conduct their annual inspection of facilities, mm -hmm. what did they find in that place. Mm -hmm. So together with the police, I hope in the coming few days, they will be telling members of the public that as we do our annual licensing of facilities, mm -hmm. which is a function we carry out pass one to, Mm -hmm. regulations made under the CAP 253, we discovered A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. But that may not rule out the fact that that clinic may have been operating without even being inspected and licensed. Mm -hmm. That is clearly breach of the law, mm -hmm. which is the reason why I would like to place most of this on the police service. Mm -hmm. They should tell us, mm -hmm. because it is their duty to investigate those who are committing crime, mm -hmm. to tell the members of the public, one, the status of that clinic, mm -hmm. the status of those who work there. Mm -hmm. Because before we establish that, I think it is premature for the country to be treated to what I call, uh, what I call uh, mob justice. Yes. All right, well, we need to take a quick break. Um, uh, but then, you know, I, I must say that the public really is outraged by what is happening right now. Yes. And um, now the board is receiving a lot of backlash from the public. So okay. um, when we come back, let's discuss, as much as you say that, yes, Mr. Wairimu was not a real doctor. Out of this case, a lot of people began to speak up and uh, with their dissatisfaction of the quality of care that we've been given by our doctors. A lot of people have spoken up and have accused um, doctors 
doctors of not being competent in their area of expertise. And so I would like to think that, yes, there is still a problem in um, the practice of medicine within our professionals. And I would like to, us to discuss that when we come back from the break. Uh, so keep it tuned here at Politically Correct Kenya. Uh, you are watching TVC. Thank <music> you.